been so long since I last made a video. I actually made a vlog a wee while ago, maybe like a week and a half ago or something, and I accidentally deleted it. So sorry about that. And then I had a little sickness bug, so that's why I've not been on for a while. I'm really sorry, and I've really, really missed you guys. I've got a haul for you. Um, I went to a, on a quick shopping trip the other day and I picked up a few things so I will share with you. I've got, I've, they're literally in a basket and they're all kind of jumbled up so I'm just going to pull them out randomly as usual and show you them as they come out. The first thing was from a local charity shop and this was $7.99 and it is this handbag here. It's a really cute wee size, I like the size of it and it's got, if I show you up close, it's got diamantes all over it. Like the entire bag is covered in diamantes and it's got the gold hardware. This is a Paul's Boutique bag and this is I think the fourth Paul's Boutique bag I've had and I really really like them. They're really sort of unusual designs or unusual colours and things so I really, probably glaring in your face there sorry. Um, yeah I really like the Paul's Boutique bag, I really do. This is like I said my fourth one. I think I've got a fluorescent pink one, a silver sort of one and now I can't remember what the other one is. Oh and like a sort of corally pink type colour, really really bright. So I really do like this and like I said this was $7.99. I could not believe the prices. Mark goes to the different, when Mark goes to the charity shops he goes to one a little bit further afield and they're much cheaper. My local charity shop was just ridiculous. I couldn't believe it when I went in. They were wanting for just one plain cushion, a beige colour cushion, $7.99 for a second hand cushion. I just thought that was far too much. I don't know, I think the prices have just gone up too far. But anyway, I did pay $7.99 for this because I really liked it. And when I got home, I put it in the washing machine just to make sure it was all fresh because this isn't leather and stuff. This is like sort of PVC stuff. And I wasn't sure if the Diamantes were going to survive the wash, but luckily they did. So I don't even think a single one of them have come off, not that I've noticed anyway. So it's all nice and fresh and I got that. Next thing I picked up... I saw this at the till, when I was up at the till, they had like a reel of men's clothes. So this is actually meant to be a man's large, but I think on camera it's going to look really big, but in person it's not very big at all. So I don't know if it's, it was in the men's department, but I don't know if it was, it's a very small large, if you know what I mean. It's by the brand Jim Thompson and it says 100% cotton and again it says it's a size large. I really like the camouflage kind of print and the colours. And on here, I don't know if you can see, it's like loads and loads and loads of elephants. And I just thought it was a bit unusual and I just really liked it. And all the clothes in that shop, that's the only thing they are actually reasonable for because all the clothes in that shop are 99 pence. So that's what I paid for that. And I think that is all I got from the charity shop. And I'll move on to, I went to, I think I might have a couple of things in here from the pound shop that Mark picked up. I've got stuff from Home Bargains and also stuff from TK Maxx. So... Like, it might be mixed, do you know what I mean? I can't do it all together. It's all just a big sort of jumble. I'm just pulling them out willy-nilly. I got this. It says, home is where the heart is. And it is this wooden sign. It's got a little sort of tire thing there. But I don't know why you would put that on it. Because it's got the little hooks here, you know, like for under that paper. There's little hooks for hanging it up. So I just cut that off. But I really like the wood. It's really quite chunky. And I'm pretty sure, price tag's not on this, but I'm pretty sure this was, it was either $1.99 or $1.49. It was really, really cheap. And I thought that would look nice like at the top of a door frame or something, maybe like the door as you walk into a living room, just right on the top. And I thought that would be really nice. I really like that. I really like wooden signs and things. Next thing I picked up are some signs and they're going to be kind of hard to show you because they're like in a wrapper. They're just these little stickers. These were 39 pence and I got them just for, I got two of them. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. I got two of them and they just say sweet dreams on them and I got them just for going beside Davina and Alexander, that's my children, in case you don't know, just going beside their beds, I thought it would be cute. And for 39 pence, you can't really beat that, can you? Next thing I got, I don't know why these are in here, they're not very interesting, two boxes of tissues. These were 39 pence each, and I just buy these to keep on my dressing table because they're handy. Sorry, I'm dropping stuff now. Um, what is the next thing? Oh, this. We've actually used this, but so I took it out of the shower to show you because I really, really wanted to show you this because this is crazy good value. These big massive bottles and how much are in the, let me see, what is this? I can't see, I can't see how much it is. You know, like how many, just, I'm not sure, but they're like literally huge bottles. These were in Home Bargains, one shampoo, one conditioner, and they are enriched with argan oil from, it says enriched with argan oil from Morocco, but they also had another one, I can't remember if it was like olives or shea butter, or they had one of a different sort of, um, slightly different ingredients in it. These were £1.49 and I thought I'll get them, I'll get one of each, I'll try them, see if they're any good. I wasn't really holding out much hope just because of the price of them. 
these are brilliant they're so good my daughter and i have used them a couple of times now and we really really like them she likes them as well she's got long hair and you know it can get like tuggy and stuff especially if you're me and you don't brush your hair for days and days in a row but anyway yeah these are really good and i want to share them with you because for 149 that is pretty good for these size of bottles and they've got the pump in them as well so you're not so likely to like you you know pour them out and like too much product comes out in your hand so you waste some so these are really good so i'm going to go back in and stock now that i know they're good i'm going to go back in and stock up on them next thing is this i've not tried this yet but again this is really really good value this is one pound 49 and it says daily defense enriched with pomegranate and aloe extract and it's just a shower gel but it is absolutely massive it is a big again doesn't say the weight i don't know where on earth I don't know where to put the sizes, but yeah, it is this. It, again, the pump, so you can just put some on your little sponge or, you know, shower puff thing and you're good to go. And big massive like that for £1.49, that is good. So I'm going to try that and if it's any good, I'll get more of the shampoo and conditioner and more of this. And the next thing I got was another two shower gels. These are the same. And I got two of these because they literally had two left. So I picked, up, I picked them up and I really, really love these. It's by... Royal Boutique and it says Lilac English Lavender Luxury Hydrating Shower Cream. They're in these nice little bottles, again with the pump, really in these pumps. Anyway, yeah, they're really good. These are 500 milliliters, that actually says on these what they are. Yeah, really nice. I've not tried them in the shower, so I don't know how they like lather up and stuff, but the smell of them is absolutely lovely. I love lavender, as you probably know, because I talk about it all the time, but and these just smell, oh my goodness, they smell so, so good, like real lavender. I'm so excited about using them. And these were 89 pence each. Let me see. This I picked up in TK Maxx. And it's just, in fact, in the first ever, ever, ever um, video I ever put up on YouTube, I hauled one of these when I did a big massive TK Maxx haul. And it's just a thing to protect your sink. I've got a ceramic sink and I like to be a bit careful with it. So I put this in my sink so that it doesn't get scratched. And sort of, you know, if you, I'm always worried that somebody goes to put a pot in it or something and it cracks it. So this just protects it a little bit and it's in this nice green colour that I like and it goes in my kitchen and this was 2 99 so pretty good. And next thing, these, yeah, these are from the pound shop. Mark picked these up. He picked up, I'm sure he picked up four, so, but I think there's only three here. One's gone missing somewhere. But yeah, there are these. It says Clever Tile Stickers and it just looks like this, like tile kind of effect, but it's actually just a sticker. And I thought these would be good for in my bathroom where the sink is, just for going along there. It tends to get splashed with water quite a lot. And these look like they're sort of waterproof stickers. So I thought these would be quite good. And I like the colours and the like greys and blues. And that will definitely go in my bathroom. So I'm excited about trying that. Next thing my daughter picked up, she got these for her. But these don't fit her. She takes a... Uh, between a size, <coughs> I'm sorry, she takes between a size six and a sort of six and a half, whereas I'm like five and a half, and then with places that don't do like half sizes, I'll usually go for like the six. These are Amazonia's sandals. These were on clearance, I think, in TK Maxx, I'm sure. They were only 4 99 to start with, so they were pretty cheap, but they were reduced to three pounds, so even better. These didn't fit her, so now she's donated them to me so i thought for three pounds it's not really worth taking them back and they're actually quite cool i like the concept of them hold on and i'll show you these are made of like i think it's i'm sure my daughter said it's like 100 percent recycled material or something but look they're like plastic i'm still not getting used to where i'm meant to be holding this they've got like this green plastic and it's got all flex through it and it's just these these would be good for the beach because these would be waterproof and it just but it's weird the way it goes so your toe goes in here and then there's sort of nothing on this side and then just a little straps on that side. I thought they were unusual and really cute. So I like them. And like I said, these were three pounds. I'm actually getting more into sort of eco products and things. I'm actually, since buying this stuff, I've actually decided that I'm going to find out what brands and things are cruelty free. And I'm going to not buy anything that is not cruelty free. Again, I will use up the stuff that I've already got. But I was shocked to hear the amount of brands that are actually not cruelty free. So, yeah, I'm going to be a wee bit more, I don't know, like, consider what I'm buying more rather than just picking it up. Find out the brands that are and aren't. So I'm going to be doing that soon. But I didn't do that with this stuff. I, this is becoming a while. We sort of became vegetarians and then, I don't know, it makes you think about other things. So that is coming very soon. It's coming sort of in the future. But anything that I bought or anything that I have in my possession now, I am going to use it. 
because there's no point I don't want to put it in the bin and then it's kind of like for nothing but in future I'm definitely going to be more aware of the things that I am buying I picked this up from TK Maxx and it says clean logic and it's a bath and body care microfiber hair wrap and it's just this baby pink microfiber hair wrap basically I thought this might be a good idea I often don't even blow dry my hair or anything when I come out of the shower I just sort of tell it dry and just let it do what it wants which is often just a straggly mess like this but this was three ninety nine, and I thought that would be good for sort of soaking up more moisture than your regular towel and it's really really thin I don't like feeling putting like a big heavy towel sort of on my head so I thought this would be thin and it's really really lightweight and it would be good so I got that Mark oh this is a little makeup thing that Mark picked up from where was the, the pound shop either Poundland or Pound World, I'm not sure. This is the Rimmel and it's 100 Kisses Lip Tint and Balm. These I find very, very drying on the lips, but I do like to use them underneath lipsticks because they do stay in your lips, so they stay on for a long time. And as your lipstick's wearing off during the day, you're still left with a bit of colour because of this. And if you wanted to, you know, like just reapply, your, you could just quickly reapply a little bit of gloss or a little bit of lipstick and it's just like completely fresh again rather than having to go through the whole liner and do all the stuff I just find these quite nice but I've not actually had a little look at the colour this is it looks quite bright orange actually let me see hold on what colour are you does this have a colour oh it says boundless sunset eight is it eight no six one zero boundless sunset and it is they're just like felt tip pens they literally look like a marker and they literally draw on your lips like a marker it just is like a felt tip pen oh this is really orangey peachy I don't, can you see that it's really quite like orange peachy color nice and bright i've got a lip gloss actually a sort of corally orangey type lipstick that i think that would look really nice with so i will give this a try and like i said it was from a pound shop so it was obviously a pound this was from tk maxx and this was this was only 1.99 it says matte eyeshadows by technique and they're just I actually didn't realise that I had almost no matte eyeshadows and I just wanted to try something not with glitter in it, not with shimmer in it and just, I quite like the matte look but when looking through it I don't have a, lot, a whole lot of makeup like a lot of people do but when I was looking through it I realised that I really didn't have very much and I thought this would be a good one just for every day or you could dress it up, you could do like smoky eye effects, I'll show you the colours and it goes like from white to light grey to dark all the way to black here so I thought that would be quite nice to use i'll see how i got on with that next makeup thing i got was again by technique and this was 2.99 and it says matte blusher and it's just is there a color i don't think there's i don't think there's a color i cannot get it open oh, i was going to do a little swatch with you but i literally cannot get this open at all oh there we go all right so it's like three different colors i thought it was all just one sort of color pink there but if you see close up it's like light pink a little bit darker pink and then this one's a more sort of orangey blush pink just do a little swatch and see oh it's very pigmented i don't know if you're going to be able to see that in my fingers it's quite light and soft actually so looking forward to giving that a go and did i see how much this was i think i did 2.99 for that one and the next one is again by technique super fine matte bronzer and i i don't really use bronzers an awful lot but i am really really pale so i I don't know, I want to kind of give it a go and try it. So I bought this and it looked not too, too dark. I think I'll show you it. Sorry, I'm just taking a sticker off it. Nope. These things are really hard to open. Like really hard to open. Nope. Hold on, sorry. That is probably the most unclassy thing I could possibly do. Two ninety nine. this was, in case I haven't said it, and it is this. It definitely is matte. It looks very, very soft, this bronzer like this again really really pigmented these were quite cheap and they're really really pigmented for being so cheap and they feel sort of nice and soft on the skin so i'm excited about that this i brought up it says it's a powder brush and i got this for applying the bronzer it was 3.99 and it's by the brand cala natural and it just looks like this it's got a little wooden handle and it's i thought i actually tried it to see if it would be if it's going to be soft or not and I'll give that a little feel. Oh, that is very soft. That is nice and soft, actually. It's not the softest brush I've got. I think I've got another brush that's softer than this, but this is pretty soft. So I'll use that with my bronzer. Next thing I got is... Oh, Mark actually picked this up. This was on clearance. It was... 
it's a, it was reduced to one pound but i'm trying to get the sticker off so i can show you what it originally was i like to know it was 3.99 originally and it says i cannot read it oh groomers blend puffy shampoo gentle and tearless ph balanced looks like this and we just got this for dora this is quite a good size yeah got this for dora just to give her a little bath and just so it doesn't irritate her skin clothes if it's for puffy it's probably a bit more gentle kind of thing so got that for a little bath she does not enjoy a bath it is literally a struggle we've actually only got a shower and she's even more petrified of the shower than she is getting in the sink so i usually put a basin in the sink and wash her in the sink that is literally the only way i can do it and she struggles and struggles and struggles the whole time but I'll, I've got her some nice shampoo anyway. Sometimes you've just got to give them a bath to get a little bit, you know, stinky. So we put it in the sink. Anyway, I got this. I've been wanting a Clarisonic. I've heard a few people talking about it on YouTube. And it's really, it's like the brush thing and it's motorised and it sort of cleans all your skin out. Well, I saw this. This is nowhere near. I think the Clarisonic is, I don't know, around the sort of £100 mark or more. I'm not sure. Somewhere around that. It's quite expensive. But I saw this. This was 14 99 And I don't know if it's going to work. I doubt very much it will work as good as that, but it might be, I'll take it out of the box, it might just do the trick, let me see, what is your name, it says Slender Facial Cleansing Brush and it is by the brand Danielle, I'll show you the little brand there, and it is just this, it's got the plastic on this, wait now, take it off and see how soft it is, oh my goodness that is so soft, oh that makes that makeup brush feel like sandpaper or something, this is properly soft, they're very, 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 it looks actually like a sponge, like it looks so smooth, this is a sponge, but it is actually bristles if you can see me doing that, but it's super, super soft. I quite like the packaging as well, it's quite sort of, I don't know, nice looking, sort of classy looking like this. It's got the brand Danielle Creations on it, little button there to switch it on and obviously I'm assuming you put batteries in this end. So I'm really excited about giving this a wee try and seeing if it works for me. I picked up this, it is Peppermint Essential Oils. I'm actually wanting to very soon get a sort of collection of all sorts of essential oils and I'm going to also be making my own cleaning products and things just so I know exactly what's in them and I can make them to my taste and have like different scents and things for different rooms so I'm excited about that so when I saw this I thought well this will be the start to my little collection and this like I said, I, did I say it? I don't know, I really do like ramble. Um, this is Peppermint Essential Oil, 100% Essential Oil and it's by the brand Eco Aroma and I got that, I thought if I made up a little spray, I've got white vinegar um, and just make up a sort of simple spray like lemon, white vinegar and water and maybe add a couple of drops in this and I thought that would make a really nice bathroom cleaner because what is the brand, totally escaped me now, there's a brand, I've got stuff in there from it, it'll come back to me, they do like all natural stuff, I cannot believe I forgot that it'll probably come back to me anyway they do a bathroom cleaner and it is a minty smell and i absolutely love it it's so so nice and it's like all natural so i might give it a go and try and make my own these mark picked up for me when he was in asda and they're the cotton wool pads he's got a really bad memory but i'm so shocked like he hardly remembers anything but he remembered me saying at one point when he was sort of half asleep oh i need to buy cotton pads and he went in and bought them for me so he's so sweet these are the big sort of really big ones i like these ones i find when you've got you know the little sort of circle ones you're using like four or five or six or seven to take off your makeup whereas you only really need a couple of these because they're so big and i go through these really really quickly because i use like toner and things and i use them for that and then taking off your nail polishes and everything so use it a lot this i picked up it's by the brand it says is it quo by orly and it says all in one and this was 3.99 and i'm pretty sure this is a top coat i can't see the bit that says it. oh yeah here we are base coat and top coat for lasting color i never i paint my nails quite a lot almost every night and i've never used a base coat and a top coat ever i literally just and then then i moan that my nail polish doesn't last and you wonder why probably because i don't use a base coat and a top coat so i thought i would try that and i think i've heard of the brand orly and i think it's a sort of reasonable kind of brand so i thought we'd give that a go and i'm sure i got another nail polish i did i got this opi nail polish and it is this like very very milky lilac color i'm going to see if it says on it anywhere what the actual color is underneath it says i am what i am fist so that's a cute wee name it's like this it's coming across gray actually on camera when i'm showing it i think but it's really really pale 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 lilac very 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 soft milky lilac color and i really liked it and this was 
9.99 oh my goodness i did not actually realize that was 9.99 normally the opi nail polishes are only 3.99 i didn't actually look at the price tag 9.99 is pretty dear for me to pay for a nail polish in fact i had several opi nail polishes from tk maxx before and i'm pretty sure they were only 3.99 so i don't know why they've decided this one maybe this is a rare one or something but they've decided this one is 9.99 and next we, I picked this up from my daughter, it's Natural Love Natural Deodorant. She's still on the hunt for, she used the one that I got in that wee shop when I was on holiday and she didn't like it, didn't, she didn't feel confident, she felt like it wasn't really working too good. But this is um, Natural Love and it's in the scent Lemongrass and it's a natural deodorant. Looks like this and I just got it for her to try and it does smell really really nice and fresh it's lovely it's got that like lemony fresh smell to it so she's going to give that a go and see how that works oh i didn't say how much it was did i this is 3.99 and next we have it says good skin where i'm all over pore reducing serum i've never tried anything like this for pore reducing but i thought this would be quite nice you know you get the kind of open pores like across your nose and stuff and I mean I cleanse my face regularly, I don't like have like the blackheads but you can still see the sort of pores on my nose and a little bit on my cheeks so I thought I would give this a go. It says after four weeks 80% of subjects reported a reduced appearance of pores so I'm going to give that a go and it's by Good Skin Labs and did I say how much it was? This was 2 dollars which I thought was pretty good. Probably showing that into the wrong bit again but anyway I thought that was pretty good. Next thing I got is this, oh I forgot I got this actually, it is CoverGirl Simply Age, Ageless and it is foundation anti-aging serum and this was 3 99 and it is kind of unusual in that I made sure I got one of, that had a little sticker on it, I don't like it when, you know you go into a shop to buy something and everybody's kind of had their fingers on it and stuff, that really, I don't like that at all. Oh this comes with, it's got the little bottom bit and it comes with the little sponge thing there and if I nothing wants to open for me tonight absolutely nothing is willing to open it is not really half this video is probably taking up trying to open stuff nope really i think what i'm going to do is when i put this on my dressing table i'll just leave the lid sort of on it but not fastened because i could not be bothered with this every time i put my makeup on i'll see if i can just show you it through there it's got like swirls of like white and swirls there of the colour and this is in the shade I've just ripped the little sticker off it to try and get it open and that little sticker is what had the colour on it I think it's something like beige something beige or natural beige something like that like I said a pretty pale skin so I went for the palest one so there's that next thing is by nature I have had stuff from this brand before and liked it I've got a night cream from them and I really like it this is a rejuvenating eye cream with rosehip oil and this was 5 99 and it says the rich and rejuvenating eye cream helps to improve the appearance of dull skin and create a radiant fresh appearance. It says, is it right for me? Keep the hydrating, softens lines for all skin types, non, don't even, it says non something and then in brackets it says won't block the pores. So that's a good thing, especially if I'm using that and I'll have nice clean pores. So there we go. It says as well it's collagen enriched. So looking forward to trying that. And I like getting all new stuff and trying it i've literally got the stuff put it in this basket ready to haul this was like i think it was maybe four days a few days ago and it's been sitting in there ever since and normally when i get stuff from the shop i'm like desperate to like go through it and have a wee look and try all the stuff out but i wouldn't let myself until i showed it to you guys first this is by skinny skinny cane skinny can i'll show you because you'll be able to read it better than me this is 4.99 and this is a lip balm it says anti-aging promotes the production of collagen, instant relief for dry, cracked lips, and it's like this. I don't know if it's a little tube or a. Let me see. Oh, it's like a little, little tube thing like that. I'm going to have to smell it now that I've opened it. it doesn't actually smell of anything. I'll fix that in a minute. <laughs> anyway, next two things. I don't. There is two things left. No, actually, the thing that I've got all the stuff in, I also bought that, so I've got that to show you. These are cooling iPads, and they're orange with vitamin E, and it says you get 16 pads and resealable sachets, and they're like the little orange slices, like these are the bits here inside, they're sort of squishy, and these are the bits that you put on your eyes, and they're like little orange pieces. I just, to be honest with you, thought they were really cute and adorable, and I think I got these on the 
you know, the walk to the till, you know, that bit where they try and tempt you with all the stuff and I always sort of get the stuff that works for me every time. This is 2 99 and I picked it up, it'd be nice for a wee sort of pamper night. And the last product is this, it's Elizabeth, Elizabeth Arden, New York. I've seen this brand before and I've always wanted to try it and it's usually quite pricey. I got it reduced this time and this was £5 reduced from £14.99 and it's a very big box for what's in it. It's literally two products and I'll show you them. The first one is this, it's Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream skin protectant and it's just a sort of, I don't know, like a little mini one sort of thing. So I thought this would be a good way of trying it, you know, just for £5 and just trying it. So there's that. And the other thing is... These, these are Daily Youth Restoring Serum, Serum Capsules and this I thought looked very sort of different and a little bit fancy. There's these little capsules and ooh, this one was easy to open for a little change. They look like this, got little bits here and I'm assuming you tear that off and sort of rub it on your skin and I just, I don't know, it was interesting, it was something different. I quite like the packaging and the last thing I got is nothing very exciting. This was reduced from £14.99 to £7. But I thought, what a good idea. It is this laundry basket and it's got this rubber bit in it here, which means it can literally collapse to be completely flat, which means you can store it really, really, really easily. Like laundry baskets are so super handy. I couldn't be without one, but they do take up a lot of room. Like when you're wanting your house nice and tidy and everything out the way, they take up quite a lot of room in a cupboard. So I thought that was a great idea. Anyway, I'm so sorry it was so long. Um, since I last put a video up and I really honestly have really missed you guys all your comments and everything you've no idea sometimes I'll go into a shop and I'll see a brand or I'll see something and I'll say oh so and so told me about that or so and so and, and I can see sort of Mark going who is that and I thought like, one of my subscribers and I just talk about you guys as if oh you're just my friends and yeah oh they said that and they said that was good and oh and they tried that if they said that was good so I really honestly have missed you so much and I'm so glad to be feeling better and back and I hope to have a video up for you very very soon thank you so much for watching bye